Well, hello, Furtless, and welcome to this beautiful day. Slightly windy, slightly cooler in Britain and Wiltshire. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Okay, so again, judging by the title, this isn't a paranormal video, obviously, this is going back to the personal thing. Yeah. Now, I haven't covered this person because uh, there are a lot of people that do, it's not really my thing. And the dude is a total sociopath anyway. That's pretty much a given. Uh, onion cunt, better known as Ernesian. Yeah, uh, this is actually history and old. I'm sorry about the wind, if it's affecting this, it is a bit windy, but that's refreshing here, trust me, from yesterday. I mean, I know a lot of you live in a lot hotter climate than I do. I couldn't cope with that. I know a lot of you live in a much colder climate than I do. I couldn't cope with that. Long story short, I'm a whiny bastard, but Let's go back to the topic in hand, shall we? Onion Cantonese on. Now, he has a point on something, actually, that a lot of people gave him stick for, and rightly so, because, you know, tragedy and that. What am I talking about? Remember, this is old news, really, uh, and I'm doing it now rather than back then, in the sea of videos that are covering him, calling him all sorts, and all the rest of it, and, r and rightly so. But I think he has a point on something, actually. I'm going to actually stand up and, as usual, be fucking outspoken and talk about this. <sighs> right. So. Yeah, wasp. Wasp. Go away, wasp. Leave me alone. Don't sting me, you fucker. Yeah. Okay, so. It was like this. Basically, uh, Manchester bombing. And um, he did a video where he basically went on about... Well, you know, millions and millions of people have died before you. You all live worthless lives. Well, speak for yourself, buddy. I mean, I suppose I could count myself as one of those worthless lives other than my immediate family, uh, trying to make and leave a mark on this earth, as all worse humans do. I'm probably failing right now. Hmm. Yeah, it's okay. I can deal with that. But, um, <laughs> he was going on about how your your tweet and remember i'm not on witter and i'm not on fake book either and i never will be in fact i've changed a lot and this is a problem i've got with my personal life and my personal uh, relationship with my wife but where is the punk anti-social media guy gone you know the one that graffitied the conservative signs you know the, the, what happened to him he's now posting up pictures of his daughter when he used to laugh at that sort of thing think oh fuck you now yeah, yeah, it's not good. But, you know, I do have limits. And limits are fake book and witter. This is my only platform. YouTube, and I have to have the G Plus with it. And it's okay, because I can keep up with what or not. And I'm sorry I haven't got back to your comments on my on my uh, last video. I'm okay, there's nothing wrong, you know. Uh, nothing happened at night, thankfully, in the end. But, mm. So, <sighs> fucking hell. This is where Mr. 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 Order of Magnitude gets really outspoken on this, because... I'm actually sort of half sticking up for the fucking idiot. Remember, he is a sociopath and a dickhead. I can't stand Onion Cunt either. But he raised a point about tweets of sympathy going out, hundreds of them, utterly meaningless. Your heart, meaningless. They're just to say, don't forget me. Don't forget me, I'm still here. Uh, this is why uh, you'll never... Uh, See, I, I don't, I don't on Twitter, as I said, but I don't put up posts saying how tragic something is for the one reason that it sort of goes with that. Unless it's immediate. If there's someone in my little community, Truth Seekers community, which isn't exactly huge, it's only 130 people for fuck's sake at the moment. And, you know, my, my subs who speak to me or someone who I speak to, I won't really post out. Or if I, you know, or a homeless person where I've interacted with them, it's a little bit different. But I don't... That doesn't mean to say I'm not sympathetic to the situation, so do not get me wrong, because you know I'm a fucking sensitive soul. I'm terrible for it. Um, you know, people can fucking, you know, offend me. I don't realise they have, sort of, in some way or form. <coughs> Credit! <coughs> Credit! <coughs> anyway. <coughs> but, um, you know, that's been and gone, don't worry about that. <laughs> it's been a dick. But, um, yeah, uh, what I wanted to say was... Get on with it, Mr. Magnitude. My, my mind's gone a bit blank. Does he have a point? Does Onion Cunt Anesian have a freaking point? I don't know. In a way, I sort of get where he's coming from. 
because yes there are lots of deaths that happen all over the world in the most horrific circumstances all you've got to do is go onto my channel and look at the bonfires playlist i've got the controversial bonfires playlist you know uh, among people like bud dwyer blowing his brains out or you know whoever else like i said i'm more fascinated with how you got there in the first place as opposed to the actual act of going that way because it's fucking powerful i can never do it although i consider it many a time when things weren't going well you see there are tragedies that are happening all over the world right now you know countries at war they don't get tweets sent out saying oh dear you know hundreds of people every day are dying of cancer they don't get tweets sent it out but this was a little different because there are teenagers there, kids there, young kids that went to this concert and some fuck nut, I'm not even going to give his name because I don't want any fucking credit given to him, decides to fucking do what he did, you know? And lately, the Tower Inferno that is in London, which there's something really fucking sus about that. Uh, a faulty washing machine? <laughs> I think the latest is something to do with cyanide? I, I don't know. But there is something really fishy about it, the way it went up. That fucking cladding. You know, and people said about it. And there'll be hundreds of thousands and millions of tweets going, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. But yet somewhere over in, you know, Asia and the Middle East, you know, every day, you know, as I said, look at my bonfires playlist. You know, that, that you'll see videos there of fathers picking up their kid with no head or the back of their brains blown out by some fucking nutball all because of Islam and that's why I'm so dead against Islam you can call me Islamophobe as much as you fucking want but it's a fucking fucked religion and those this is where I'm outspoken I expect or not those that are you know peaceful with it and that you're not practicing that religion properly and I'm glad you don't practice it properly. I'm so glad you do, okay? So I'm giving you credit. I'm not dissing you for not doing it properly and slaying the infidels that don't fucking believe. I mean, there's videos on there, you know, in our country where we've got a Islam zone, you know, and these guys are going, this is an Islamic zone, put away your beer, you know, and tell people to get the fuck, you know, get out of their place, you know, and stop wearing slutty outfits, etc. you know. Again... This is Britain, man. You come to my country, you're going to learn my language. Because I'll tell you what, right? This banning of the, like, the, the British flag or the English flag is offensive, which wasn't that long ago, right? I remember that. <sighs> Fucking stupid, because I guarantee you, I go to your country and bring out an English flag, and it'll be like, oh, no, oh, oh. but do you put down your flag for us? No. You come to Great Britain, you do what Great Britain does and live our culture, okay? Simple as. But going off point... An easy on. Did he just say it to be fucking controversial? Probably. That's just the way he is. I mean, it's, you know, he's a fucking, he is a sociopath and he's got a lot wrong with him, you know, and he's an asshole as well, you know, fucking bully. But <laughs> he did, I mean, like I said, a lot of, lot of Charles Cleverham, like Mike Inator and uh, Rob Novak, I kind of like him, he's kind of cool for, you know, he's only got a very small amount of subs. Never judge a child by its sub count, okay? I've learned that very long time ago. Never, never, never do. Check a channel out if it hasn't got a big sub. See, my stepson will not check out a channel unless it's got a million subs. I think that's ridiculous because, you know. <laughs> anyway, he has a point, kind of, in a weird, fucked up logic way, you know. Uh, why don't we put tweets out all the time of people dying in the Middle East? I guess because we don't really hear about it or we're fed up with hearing about it. And, oh, this is a bit closer to home, maybe. Is that it? What is the reason for that? And this is exactly why I haven't posted my sympathies. I mean, I never write much anyway to a tragedy because there's nothing I can say that will change that. In fact, it's almost you know, patronising to say, you know, I'm so sorry. So my, my three words were empathy, you know. No words, just empathy. That's all I got. Nothing I can do. All I can say is, imagine if I was in your position and this happened. We are human beings and we all go through tragic times, some worse than others, definitely. I mean, I feel very funny about the homeless. Yeah, I've never been homeless myself. Never. And I don't think I ever will be. Touch wood. You know, it's a horrible thing to, to happen. But my point is, you know, I, if I ever win the lottery or whatever, the first thing I'll be doing, I wouldn't be buying a Ferrari. I'd buy myself a nice Pulsar GTIR or something. <laughs> yeah, you fucker, Matt, you know who you are. Um, you know... I won't be buying a mansion, I'd just be buying a semi-big house, but, you know, 
the first thing I'll be pretty much doing is trying to set up something for the homeless. And I don't just mean plough a load of money into nothingness. Actually, get out there and do something because I won't need to work no more. But that's probably never going to happen, never will. What is the chance of winning the lottery? Zero, right? Zero point 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 zero 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 zero, And then eventually there's a one in there. So even if you have $2,000 or pounds stuck in the lottery, your chances of winning are so slim. Don't ever do that, okay, gamblers. So an easy one as I'm nearly home. I'm actually gonna, I know this is old news and everyone's covered it to death and they've slayed him for being a cunt, because he is. That's why he's nicknamed Bunyan Cunt. But he sort of has a weird point. I do understand where he is coming from with this. I really do. And it's not because I don't have sympathy for it, because I fucking do, okay? When I watched that, you know, the, the London and Furby, both me and my wife were like, had our hands in front of our mouths. Like, wow. And the, the Manchester concert thing, you know? Yeah, like I always say, your life can be taken tomorrow. So cherish today as much as you can. I'm not very good at doing that. Myself, I, I fucking preach it all the time, put it in posts, but, you know, we could be gone tomorrow. You just don't know what the future holds. I had a dream, I don't know, last night or night before I come home, when I actually got run over in this dream. And it was so realistic. I remember, I'm a fucker for nightmares. I love them. I think they're like roller coasters. Honestly, I, I get a kick out of my nightmares. But this one was like, whoa. I actually threw myself across the other side of a bed where I got bashed by a car in, in the fucking legs. I saw the bonnet and everything. I have no idea where I was, but I got run over. And don't worry, dreams are not literal. Like, if you have dreams about losing your teeth, that means you're worrying over something. Not literally your teeth are going to fall out, you know? So there's a reason for it. I guess what I'm trying to say is why I'm nearly home is, you know, there's nothing wrong with tweeting or, or posting, you know, sympathies, but it won't change anything, I guess. And you can have empathy and sympathy all the way. Fuck onion cunt. You know, if you feel like you need to post and get it off your chest, uh, uh, how upsetting it is, fine. But, you know, we can't acknowledge every death because every second somebody is dying around the world, it's just sad, and that's children as well. The innocence. Totally upsetting, isn't it? You know? And that could be my daughter, you know? She could pass away early, which is I dread, and, and it's like the worst fucking nightmare I could have. That's not a fun nightmare. But, you know, nightmares where I'm being chased to be killed, or run over, or fucking in a car chase with the police to the death. I love those nightmares. I absolutely love <laughs> Fucking weirdo. But, you know? So, yeah. I'm sort of actually going to agree, semi- with Onion Cunt on that what he did you know everything else I totally disagree with him he's a dickhead complete moron so, so Onion Cunt if you ever do comment on my profile just know I, I, I don't like you uh, I think you're a fucking sociopath but you did raise a point which everybody smashed into you for but I don't think you're raising a point to a point you're just trying to be an edgy fuck because you're an edgelord that's it, Furtless. Um, some uploads of EVP Paranormal Science are on their way. They may be up already, I don't know. Take care, all the best. I'll catch you on the live stream of High Priestess. Ciao for now, Furtless.